Hey friends, so today I'm going to teach you a cool little trick um, on how to automate inside of playback without actually um, without actually having to have a MIDI controller. Um, so this is, uh, I got a specific example where I had someone who was trying to run a MIDI trigger and then so that when they went into the section um, their keys piece would jump down or any section for that matter you can modify any of the faders or you can mute a channel or solo a channel whatever you want to do but basically take a MIDI cue and have it automate some type of volume level so I'm going to show you how to do that I'm um, using a play audio 12 if you can see my screen on the top corner here it's uh, over th right there above my finger uh, there's play audio 12 it's connected to this ipad right here um, going into this USB C hub right here i also have it powering so um, and then i have a korg nano control 2 and this is just gonna be for setup we're not going to need to use this after this but this is connected into my play audio 12 host port and i'm going to show you how to set all that up but first i'm going to show you what i'm actually doing here um, so if you look at my screen here what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit play on this and once we hit that little let's see that little triangle vibe right here this little bit once we hit this little triangle this keys one is, should jump down to here in level so that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to show you how that would work and then i'll show you how to actually make that happen and as quick as that you can see what happened there so let's uh, figure out how to make all that happen. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to figure out, um, there's no way to actually have, uh, create the MIDI cue and then use the play button to actually play the MIDI cue and then have it learn to the keys. So what we have to do is we have to uh, assign the keys fader right here. So I'm gonna use the keys fader, I'm gonna refer to that a lot. Um, so I'm gonna, learn it to a little fader, the first fader here on my nano control. And then I'm going to create the MIDI cue so that it copies the same message as this guy. And in that way, we can have um, the cue then trigger that. And I'm gonna show you how I created a MIDI loopback port uh, with my Play Audio 12 in order to make that happen. So let me get up Oracle for X series here. And the first thing I have to do is I have uh, this controller in the host port. So I just have to reserve this in the host port. So we're going to put this in host one. And I'm going to get a MIDI routing. And we're going to make sure that host one is sending. I'm also on scene A on this guy. If you know anything about the play audio, I'm just putting in the default routing. This should already be created for you. It's just because I'm running a beta and I've done a lot of testing on this. So, um, so that's set up. The other modification that we want to make inside of Oracle for X series is we're going to go to the device uh, port slash computer DAW. Um, and we're going to go to the one that says Jack one uh, RSV four. So like I said, I have a beta version of Oracle X here. So normally this would say Jack one RSV four. Um, and then so on the right side, we're going to send Jack one RSV four back to Jack one RSV four. So this means Jack one just refers to the USB port that you're plugged into. So this is USB port one on the front. Uh, if you're a play audio user, you'll understand that there's two USB ports and it switches from one iPad to the other uh, with the new playback where it has the redundancy tone built in. Um, so we're just going to send RSV4 back to itself. So what that means is when we look at this guy, this cue is going to send out to the Play Audio 12 and then come right back in to this keys trigger right here. And let's actually set that up. So what if we don't know what the information is that this guy is sending, this controller is sending? Let's figure that out. So I've downloaded a program called MIDI Wrench. This is a free app. Uh, I'm going to press and hold on the screen here and just clear this information. Uh, this app is super useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this fader and you can see a bunch of information just came up there. So first thing we need to note is that the type of message. So in the little 
uh, brackets, parentheses right here, we're going to see that it says CC, and this stands for Continuous Controller. Um, and that's what you're going to see in playback as the option. We're going to see the channel CH equals 1, so channel 1 that it's coming in on. Controller equals 0, um, so in playback this actually comes up as value. Um, so you're going to set your value to 0, and then uh, the value is actually going to be the velocity in uh, playback. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, oops, we're going to go back to playback. And let me do this. So we're going to press and hold on the edit button. We're going to do mini mapping. And what we're going to do is I'm going to unmap this. So we need to, we want to change this one right here. The key is one that, and we want that to jump down to maybe like an eighth of the, eighth of the amount. So we're probably going to have it like, like right here ish somewhere. Uh, so that's where we want it. So what I'm going to do is make sure you don't click on the actual volume right here. I stupidly tried to do this a few times and I was clicking right on the fader uh, piece and it wouldn't select this whole thing. Like it'll just bring it up and down. You can see I'm touching it and moving it, but it doesn't um, actually select the option. So click anywhere that's not right directly on that knob uh, on that fader section and we should be able to learn it. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm on the nail control here. I'm just going to move that fader and you can see the zero popped up there real quick and that's what we want. So that's all we need to do with that. And we're going to hit done. And then what we need to do is put a MIDI cue in. So if I press and hold edit, there's a MIDI cues option. And so you can drag this little, see this little line with the plus button in it. Uh, you can kind of drag that anywhere. So you can go hit a plus and this is going to give you all your options. So before we do that, I'm going to go into MIDI settings so you can actually see what I'm using for MIDI settings. So I'm going to get out of that. I'll dismiss. So I'm going to click this uh, three line button up in the top corner. We're going to go to settings. And we want to go to the MIDI option. Uh, I think you need a special, a certain level of playback subscription access. I'm not sure. Um, so you'll have to work that out. But uh, to get this MIDI stuff working. But I'm going to use AUX1. And you can see already I've set it up. So it goes to Play Audio 12, uh, Reserve 4, which is what we set up earlier inside of Oracle X uh, to make that work. Oops, I deselected it. My apologies. And we need to make sure it's on channel 1. Uh, if it's not on channel 1, then it's not going to work because we've set the queue. We're going to set the queue up on uh, channel 1. So since we've already used our MIDI controller to map it, I'm just going to disconnect this. We don't need this anymore. I'm going to show you that it works without this. So I'll put that to the side. Uh, the nail control is gone. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold edit. Like I said earlier, we're going to go to MIDI cues. And let's say I was going to put it, um, that's the pre-course. Say I want to put it right before this course right here. Um, I don't know if that's still sharing over. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hit this plus button. And now you're going to see all my options. Um, let me see if I can move my screen here out of the way so you can see more. So MIDI bus, uh, we want it to go to aux one. So we're going to click on, oops, we're going to click on MIDI bus and we're going to select aux one. And then we're going to go to message type. You can see it's set as note by default. We want to send it to control change because remember before we see that CC, that's control change. Value, now this should be whatever you got over here eh. as the controller and that's going to be your value let me go back my apologies uh, let me go back and get that again so control change value is going to be zero because we said our our uh, our controller was zero and then we're going to go to velocity now the velocity is kind of interesting so velocity uh, velocity actually goes from zero to 127 so basically you're looking for a percentage to get this volume in the right spot. You may have to play with it to get it in the exact right spot you want, but that's what you want to do. So I'm just going to push this to 25 right here. I go back and this is the settings, final settings. If you want to see that, uh, we're going to go to add. So we've added in this, you can see a little red spot here. So we're going to click done and that's all we need to do with that. So now when it hits this little red triangle, that keys section right here that I'm moving, uh, that's pretty far up, should jump down to probably about here-ish, that kind of level. 
So let's push it all the way up and you'll see it jump down. So let's hit play. And there you go. You can see it jump down actually further than I said it would. Um, so that's something that you'll have to play with. You'll have to play with um, you'll have to play with the actual velocity um, to get it. Oh, so I didn't actually save it as 25. That's probably why it went so low. So if I actually do this now, it's down at one right now apparently. Uh, so if I play this again. It actually jumped back up so you can do this to push a, uh, a section as well um, so this is an option that you can do um, with playback which is super cool especially if you have a play audio 12. Um, i had one person specifically ask about this and i was super curious about it so i figured i'd just create this video hopefully this helps you out and yeah let me know if you have any questions about this